Depending on who you're trying to impress, it's often cited that between 95 and 99% of the universe is made of plasma. This might not be a very precise estimate, but it's certainly a reasonable one given that stars, nebulae, and much of the interstellar hydrogen are made of plasma. But what actually is a plasma? Often you hear it defined simply as an ionized gas, one where electrons have been removed from atoms to form a mixture of positive ions and negative electrons. But personally, I never felt this tells us much, since any gas can exhibit a small amount of ionization. There are as many approaches to defining plasma as there are books on the subject, but I like Chen's approach best. In this text, Intro to Plasma Physics and Controlled Fusion, they offer the following. A plasma is a quasi-neutral gas of charged and neutral particles which exhibit collective behaviour. Now let's examine the second part, collective behaviour first. Picture a neutral gas. If we perturb the particles with a sound wave or something similar, then the particles will move freely until they collide with each other. Any and all influence felt by particles far from the original perturbation has to occur via collisions. This is very different in a plasma, where the charged particles exert Coulomb forces on each other, even at large distances. So the motion is collective. The state depends not only on local conditions, but on the state of the plasma in remote regions as well. It's these long-ranged interactions that gives plasma its often strange and unpredictable behaviours, since small perturbations can have a big influence on the entire plasma. The other criteria, quasi-neutrality, comes from an effect known as Debye shielding. Let's imagine for a moment we insert the terminals of a battery into the plasma. Since the positive ions and negative electrons in the plasma can move, they will be attracted and repelled from the regions around the terminals, effectively screening out the charge. So while yes, the plasma is comprised of positive and negative ions, when you look at it from a distance, it appears neutral. The length scale, shown by this equation here, associated with this screening is known as the Debye length. We can see that without any thermal agitation, the screening improves as the Debye length becomes infinitesimally small. Likewise, if we increase the density, then there are more particles available for screening, and the Debye length shrinks accordingly. Hopefully you now have an understanding of how a plasma is defined, and what properties set it aside from regular gases. If you have any questions, then please drop them down below.